They're a little more expensive, but I tell you they're worth it. Okay, here we go with the water heater thermostat model that we're going to do here, guys. This uh, same bulbs. You notice a little bit different fan location right here. No need to go through all the wiring and the drilling and all that other stuff because everything is identically the same. Everything wires identically the same for, for all practical purposes here. The only difference, if you notice, see where the bulbs are mounted. I mount these bulbs here because this has got to have the metal face facing this bulb right here to pick up the radiant heat off of this bulb. And this one, and this little small box right here, in order for me to be able to get this work, I knew I was going to have to get within an inch or inch and a half of this bulb. Hey guys, if you would pardon the mess, but I'm going to run through again right quick of how I'm modifying these water heater thermostats. See here where I've got my 3 16 holes drilled. As a matter of fact, I think those uh, those may be, uh, instead of 3 16 these are going to be quarter inch size holes here, guys. Yeah, those are going to be quarter inch size, which is just 1 16 step up right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to widen out to 5 16 these three vent holes that are already on here we're going to widen them on out to 5 16 size it moves along pretty quick just like that i'm going to try to make sure you get as much of your metal flake coming out of there off as you can guys Just like that guys, that is three real big vent holes for the air to pass through this thermostat and give us an optimum chance of modifying this thing and make it work like it should. All right. On the wiring on this one here, we got these little C-clips on here so that I can, so they slide right over your, your wires like this right here. And then we can just snug them up. Get them nice and snug. And then we're going to pop it. We're going to line up. We're going to line up where our Velcro is right here. And we're going to snap it in. Just like that. And I mean, it's there, guys. That stuff, don't come loose. It'll, it'll, it'll rip the foam out of here. You try to pull that. And that's, that was 3M industrial strength velcro we got a, a surplus of it for free from the trucking company we used to work for so it didn't cost us anything but you can pick it up at your local uh, at your lowe's or home depot 3m makes a, a um good you can get it big small strips don't matter but that plastic industrial velcro works really good double-sided tape works good but if you if you're um working on adjustments or working on modifications on this thing if you have to pop it on and off of here several times you're gonna rip up your incubator uh, so that Velcro is a godsend when you have to take, if you got to take this thing back off and make any more adjustments. All right, all that's left to do now with this one is to do a power up test and we'll see if we got, got it working right. And there we have it. Only difference, only thing I did different on this one, guys. See the top with this one? We got a five by seven glass right here for a good viewing glass, and I got a little three by five right here. Small viewing glass because it sits, it will sit right over the top. So you can see to adjust your thermostat if you have to make any adjustments on it. And you see how close that thing is? To the uh, to the bulb, you want to make sure that it is within within an inch or an inch and a half if we're going to fool that uh, thermostat and the cycling like it should. All right, guys. Well, I was talking about using the the zip ties or wire ties as a uh, nylon nut. You got just a standard bolt mounting your fan or mounting anything. See this hardware cloth? I made a bracket out of it, 90 degree, to hold this fan in the middle of the box. Works really good. Hardware cloth is a good multi-purpose. It's got all these little small holes for, that you can use for bolt holes all through it. 
but you zip your uh, wire tie down on the end of your bolt right here and just screw it on here like you normally would with a regular nut and when it snugs up you got it you got a nice uh here, let me get my snippers here then you just snip off your tag and it's fastened and this is our modified water heater incubator as it runs guys flashes on and off pretty quick See how fast that modified water heater thermostat cycles, guys. Ninety-nine point seven, sixty-six percent. It's been running for three days now. That's where it locked up.